So, last year I was gifted one of these fantastic little survival kits by some wonderful human beings, and it got shuffled away in the process of moving, and I recently just rediscovered it. Took a tiny peek inside the zipper, and this thing is jam-packed full of stuff, so I figured why not unbox it together. Uh, we can take a peek at all the little things. I'll see if I can figure out what they're all for, and that just could be kind of fun. Let's uh, see what this guy all holds. First, fantastic. Love a patch, love a Velcro patch in particular. Slap that right back on there. It's got some webbing and some opportunities to attach to Molly systems. Uh, kind of nice. You can slip it over your shoulder as well. Let's jump in. I wasn't joking, this thing is jam packed. Now, Online, there are all sorts of uh, different models of these guys. You know, typically when you get into kits like this, they're maybe not the top tier quality, but uh, it's still kind of fun to be able to have access to all these little things. And plus, when you're trying to um, MacGyver something together, these things are invaluable. It's awesome to have all the different little options and tools and trinkets and things that you can throw together. Plus, it's all built in and it's all right there. Throw that in your trunk and you're ready to go but let's uh, see what this all holds. Carabiner, can screw that on so it's not gonna open itself up. Not bad. Looks like we've got some fishing line. Now, I am not a master fisher, but I'm sure you folks out there probably are. You can probably tell me what these guys all are. Got to wait. Some little bait pieces. We'll leave that in the package for now. And if I say something while you're watching this and it's not correct, or if you're able to identify something that I don't know what it is, shout it out. Leave it in the comments. Tell me which uh, which piece I'm getting right or wrong. It's like we've got a little whistle, dual sided. Let's see if we can give this a little toot. It definitely will sound if you push some air through it. Oh, big guns. The blade. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to actually have a full-size knife in this kit. Looks like it's got rope cutter, glass breaker. Let's see if it's a uh, spring. Oh, yeah, that is. Okay, serrated. And that's pretty dang sharp. That's not bad. And pretty sturdy. No wobble in there. That's good. Uh, just a perfect example if you've seen some of my recent knife videos about how the outdoor gear industry is made for very large-handed individuals. Nice chunk of change hanging off the back end of that there. But, not bad, very aggressive. And very, very, very spring-loaded. And nothing to keep that in play. Spoon? Spork? Oh boy, you guys know my feelings on sporks. That's pretty fun. That's, uh, what else? Oh, we got a whistle on the back end. Well, I'll be... Okay, so you're sitting there eating a, uh, a nice meal out on the, uh, out in the bush, and you suddenly see, uh, uh, something coming at you. You could blow the whistle at them. Let's see how well it works. Uh, yeah, again, if you push enough air through it, that's going to give a nice shrill pitch. Sorry for folks that have earbuds in while listening to this video. It's got very sturdy. Oh, oh, no way. Okay, that surprised me. Okay, so we've got knife, and it's sharp. <laughs> I'll be damned. 
Okay, I've got a little bit of serration, a little jibbing, I suppose, if you were gonna cut down with it and bottle opener on the tip. That's pretty cool. And then you could crank that open that way. Definitely don't wanna put your finger there, but not bad. Okay, I, props to them on putting a whistle uh, on the end of that for a sheath. That's cool. Someone was using their noggin. What else we got? All oh, cool. Okay, so this I would assume is for when you want to blow on a fire pit. If you're, uh, you're up here on one end, you can kind of sneak that down underneath into, wow, that gets really, really, really long. Um, sneak that down underneath some of the wood blow, get the embers going again. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see if we can get that. That's about as far as that's going to close. Okay, cool. Nice to have. Pocket too. Pocket friendly. Looks like we've got a flashlight. Probably going to need some Batteries. Let's just see. A lot of threads on that one. Oh, and that's why. Okay, so it must, that's not unscrewing. That is, there's gonna be a lot of me making mistakes in this video. I already feel it. That's okay. There we go. Okay. That takes a big big boy in there. We'll, we'll find something for that later. So it must have an extension, must be able to make the beam shorter and whatnot. Awesome. Glow stick. Heck yes. Love that. Perfect for raves or emergency situations. Two of those. Perfect to party with a friend. Paracord. Can never have enough of it. I like the green. That's good. Bigger med kit. Cool. I've always found myself preparing my own med kits, things that you know, I know I'm going to use or know how to use for that matter. This is pretty great though. Um, scissors, Q-tips. Little guy. Safety pens. have this be for removing stuff, although that is pretty dang blunted. I don't know what you've managed to pull out with that, other than just so you don't touch a wound. But you guys can correct me. Q-tips, great. Gauze tape. Bandages for a wrap. Little, little rubber strips so you could tie off wounds and all the various assortments of bandages, alcohol wipes. That's great. Awesome. Let's put that back in for now. Emergency blankets. If anyone has actually used one of these, please let me know how they work. I'm very fortunate that I have not found myself in a situation where I've had to use an emergency blanket, but I've also just never tested one to see how much warmth that actually reflects back at you. Uh, be curious. Might have to go uh, tinfoil it up outside. Let's see how it goes. Oh boy. Okay. I might get to live my dream of being a hardcore outdoor enthusiast. 
by wearing one of these. Okay, what do we got going on here? We've got some metal in the actual tip of it there. So maybe they're thinking you'll use that for some type of chisel point, carving point. Maybe you could cut something with that. This then comes up. Oh, we've got a compass. Let's see, is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. All right, accurate compass. Sorry folks, just got a text message. Whistle as well, cannot have enough whistles. This kid thinks I'm going to lose my whistle while I'm eating my meal and also the actual whistle, but if I truly need a whistle. This will be on my person at all times. So uh, let's see if we can sneak that on. Sorry, I got to get out of you for a second. It's a little hard to do that one handed. Well, I'll be darned. Don't I look cool? Okay. A little big. I'm sure we can fix that. That's all right. Is that a mirror then? I think they're not shiny enough that you could say. It's okay. So probably reflection as well to signal a plane or something. Way cool. All right. I wonder how long that paracord stretches out to. Someone's probably gotta have some quick math on that. Cool. Okay, oh, okay, so some tinder. Maybe it's been soaked. Um, Ready, yeah, looks like it's got something on there, so that could be probably unravel a little bit of it, and then you can do some uh, sparking onto it. Cool, love that. More, great. Oh, what do we think this is? <laughs> Axe hammer, that's as far as I can figure out so far. Okay. Cool, let's break down this big boy. Um, okay, looks like we've got an end here. That comes off, a little bit spring-loaded. Okay, so we've got something up here that will allow you to crush or cut. Great, and it looks like I can get a pretty good squeeze on it. Awesome, we've got, oh, also sharp. That's pretty good. Okay, so you can chop a little bit. You could hammer a little bit. Wow. Oh, I'll be damned. Okay, this thing just keeps giving. Um, all right, let's secure that back into place. That's on there. What do we all have? <laughs> uh, in case the uh, hacking isn't enough, you can do a little sawing, a little, maybe hopefully a little prying or you have some screws around that need tightening. Yep, Allen wrench. Kind of set in here with can opener and more prying. More sawing. Different kind of sawing. Uh, looks like we've got teeth in one direction. So, okay, more sawing. Tiny screwdriver head. And a normal knife also decently sharp. Wow. That, I think, is actually going to just stay in my car. <laughs> that is perfect. Holy cows. You could get quite a bit done with that. I mean, I don't know when I would need a hammer at the same time as needing an axe, but, you know, if it's a hammer that I'm not going to care about, and it's probably not, you know, very impact-resistant metal, but, you know, I could pound in some hand chop stakes um, that I'm building out of wood um, to secure a tent. Um, and I could then go ahead and, and cut off some uh, of the vines that I'm making into rope to secure my tent, um, just as a kind of a, a theory. Wow, that is, that someone, someone really had to think about all of those different components. That's a lot in one. <laughs> Way cool. And it goes with a full-on sheath. 
That's cool. That's great. Nothing to keep the uh, bat unprotected, but that's all right. Wow. And you could slip it on your belt. Awesome. What do I use here? Ah, trail bug. Okay, ferro rod. And just grip. Okay, so I want you to grip it that way. And then striker with measuring. Okay, cool. So, okay, looks like they might have you be able to kind of do it that direction. I wonder how well it sparks. Let's uh, untie this a little bit. Okay, so they're gonna have you keep it attached like that. with that later. Okay. <laughs> In case your hammer saw pliers tool doesn't cut it, quite literally, there is a hand saw. So this is textured and then you should be able to grab either end. This will uncoil and you could saw back and forth through a log. I might have to try that. We'll see how well that would, I'm assuming this would get so blunted within a couple of strokes that you might have better luck just putting the chunk of wood between two branches and, and breaking it. But that is uh, I, A for effort. Um, and also these are, decent key rings. I might have to commandeer that for some other kind of key set, but awesome. Cool. Throw that over there. Okay, so I have a theory on this. You guys tell me if I'm wrong, but aren't this is designed to have to go over a water bottle, right? Yeah, because it opens up a bit. So I think the theory is you slip that over just like normal bottled water. And then this being clipped in stays put over the water bottle. Then this goes on to, okay, and it's Velcroed. This then goes on to like your belt. And then you have a built-in water bottle belt holder, I think think. That's kind of cool. I really appreciate that, actually. And it's got kind of a upward angle, so if it's dangling off your belt like that, that would drive into you, so you'd want to have it dangling like that. That will also drive in. What am I thinking? That'll maybe sit up like that. Oh, okay, so that's why they have the bend there. So it'll sit over your over your pants like that with the bottle. Cool. Ah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A little bit more kindling. We're getting close to the bottom, folks. I think this might be the last piece. Camo. Okay, small belt loop. What do we think? Let's see. Oh. Yes. Shovel. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's open that up. That goes like that. Oh, so you could decide which end you want to be using. So you might want to hack kind of a pickaxe style at something. And then this screws in. If anyone speaks that language, Please let me know what that says. All right. Okay, pretty sturdy. So then let's see how they what they expect this to do. Because how would we keep this from slipping? 
because this turn, that seems to turn. What do we think? That's turning, but not really. Oh, it's, it's sinking up. Okay, so it's rising. Okay, there it is. It's sturdy. I could pickaxe this direction. I could lower this in theory. Again, pretty simple design. I mean, just look at the washer and that's enough to pressure alone. So that slips that way. And then you've got a small shovel. Ha, they've got can opener. I could saw my way through something. I am impressed, folks. I mean, obviously not the best quality. Yes, you could probably go out and find so many. Oh yeah, and then that could fold down depending on what you're trying to get into. Wow, that is kind of awesome. Um, it's kind of the idea that, like, yes, any one of these pieces uh, that just came out of this bag, there's a company that makes it so much better. Uh, there's probably a company that does glow sticks that are off the charts phenomenal glow sticks that will last a bajillion years and glow forever and are great. And there's absolutely places and people who make better ones of these. Uh, flashlights, I mean, don't even get me started. Watch my other video about flashlights. There are so many damn flashlights and you will spend your whole life trying to determine which flashlight is best for you. But at the end of the day, you might stall out and you might find yourself in a situation where you could use any one of these items, but you won't have it because you tried too long to figure out which one is gonna be the best of each. Now, sometimes it's nice when cool people get you a kit that has all of these things in it and you don't have to worry about going through the time, and energy, effort to find a shovel pickaxe. <laughs> That's the best of the best. Or a hammer, pliers, axe cutter, for that matter. Um, so that's that's pretty neat. That's cool when they're all just there and included and, and, and it's it's done. Okay, a little extra string. Let's just see what the, what's in the dregs here. Ah, uh, uh, this tool. The wallet card. Now, if anyone knows how to actually use that piece, uh, I will give them a very special, special award yeah, if someone can teach me how to use that. Because uh, I think it's supposed to be, what are these, numbered? Are they? No. If I'm remembering correctly, back in the day I had one of these, and I think you're supposed to dangle it or use it as a position wrench now okay well I will save that my camera's uh, telling me that it's starting to get kind of warm so I'm gonna wrap this up folks uh, thank you for joining me to unbox this beauty it was fun till next time <laughs>